I'm a former champion, Chen Long, the reigning Olympic champion, will play against the former Olympic champion, Lin Dan, who's been in an incredible 10 finals here at the All England Championships. Six times he won the title, Lin Dan. That should be an interesting match tomorrow. But our next match, we turn our attention now to men's doubles. And it is the number six seeds, Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe, up against the English pairing of Ben Lane and Sean Vendy. So after that, the women's doubles with the defending champions, and then we finish with mixed doubles. Well, this, I can tell you, is the bottom quarter of the draw, and you can see right at the bottom the number two seeds, the defending champions and two-time winners, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. So, uh, this uh, section of the draw in the bottom quarter. So both pairs consisting of a left and right hander. And this will in fact be the first time that these two pairs have met each other. And uh, for the English combination, it's the first time uh, that they've been in the main draw of the All England Championships as a men's doubles pair. They did actually play in 2017. They were in the qualifying, but since the inception of the World Tour in 2018, we no longer have qualifying in any of the Super 1000 or Super 750 events. And of course, the All England is one of only three Super 1000 events on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Well, the man there with his back to us, Hiroyuki Endo, has been in the final three times of the All England Championships with his former men's doubles partner. That was Kanichi Kawakawa. So, toss of the coin. And the English combination have chosen the side of the court. They want to start the near side of the court as we will all look down. So, the English combination, this is... Uh, a wonderful experience for them to uh, qualify for the All England Championships. For the first time in the main draw, Ben Lane, their left-hander, is 22 years of age. The 32 in the world ranking at the moment, although they have been three places higher. That was for one week in the middle of November at the end of last year. Ben Lane, the daughter of uh, Sue Louis Lane, who was the national women's singles champion. Sean Vendy is a little older at the age of 23, born in Kogwal, which is the capital of the Auckland Islands. He moved to England age seven. And my fun fact about Sean Vendy is that he's naturally a left-hander, but plays badminton right-handed. For the seeded combination, Yuta Watanabe, well, he's been an All England champion. In fact, he became the first male player from Japan ever to win an All England title. That was two years ago when he won the mixed doubles title with Arista Higashino. As you can see, he's 22 years of age, uh, born in Suganami, which is uh, part of the greater Tokyo region. And there are a couple of places down at the moment from their career high of four in the world rankings. But as I was telling you, Hiroyuki Endo has been in three finals in the past with former partner Kinichi Hawakawa, with whom he reached number two on the world rankings. They were semi-finalists here at the All England Championships two years ago. Last year, they were the number four seeds and lost in the second round. And for the Japanese combination, this is their first tournament since losing in the final of the World Tour Finals last December. Injury Ready problems have presented, prevented them from playing in any of the World Tour events so far this year. Kang Sung Young from Korea is our umpire for this one. So it really is 
a wonderful experience then for Ben Lane and Sean Vendy to get to play in the main, main draw, but they've got their ranking up higher and uh, thoroughly deserve it. And it'll be interesting to see uh, whether they really enjoy the experience. I'm sure they will. Yeah, yeah definitely. To be in the draw of um, the home solo tournament. Was that a nervous looking shot? That would be understandable. It's going to be interesting to see, Esteen, what sort of form Endo and Watanabe are in, having, yeah. considering they haven't played so far this year. Oh, wow, that's a great interception from... Hiroyuki Endo. Subs over. Three, one. Oh. Yeah, it's conditions that uh, should suit what's another in uh, Higashino a big stadium. Why? Explain that a little more to me. Uh, because uh, it takes uh, the sting out of um, the hard hitting opponents, not necessarily these opponents here, but. But the hot hitting uh, combinations Sub of uh, men's doubles out of, um, out of play, so to speak, or it makes them more um, more um, easy to handle. So the defense gets a little bit better here, which means that um, uh, Yuta Watanabe's uh, pace and speed of movement uh, is, is more valuable in, in um, this arena. Right. Five, two. Well, I think he's wearing a strapping on his right knee. It's very difficult to see from, um, yeah, here it is. Yeah. You to Watanabe. Yeah. So. Too many errors at the moment from the English bat. Last year they were in four finals, Sorry. winning two titles, but they were all international challenger events. And this is actually the first time that 
Elaine and Vendy have played in a Super 1000 tournament. Yeah. So it's a big, big step up in pace and it is. quality. But, but it's also a, a planned um, step upwards from the English management because yeah. um, earlier um, this season, maybe it was last season, I can't remember. Um, it was this season definitely, maybe it was last year that they uh, split Ben Lane from his uh, previous partner in mixed doubles. Yes, yeah, just Pew. I'm talking uh, whilst watching the umpire because she's calling for um, for Hawkeye, but we could already see that uh, it was uh, plumb on the line. Um, yeah, for the pairs Four, just below six. the top pairs, um, there was some decisions taken by the English Play. management, and one of them was that uh, Ben Lane was to focus on men's doubles with uh, Sean Wendy instead of playing both mm. men's doubles and, and mixed doubles, and Jess Pugh would get another a new partner playing now with Caleb Hemming. Here's there's another challenge. Ben Yes, I gather that was uh, a policy across the board with all players were only going to play one event. But of course, uh, Marcus Ellis plays, still plays two events. Yeah. So it's not across the board. No. Here we go. What does Hawkeye say? Hawkeye says that was it. Yeah. Challenge are successful. Oh, well done, line judges. One challenge remaining. They do a terrific job. Service over. Seven, four. Play. Oh. Yeah, and... and, and <laughs> I don't mind that uh, selection because Marcus and, and Lauren, they've shown that they can cope with two uh, categories. Um, I think Marcus must be one of the players that are in best uh, physical shape. Yeah. But, but um, for, the, uh, for the youngsters here, I mean, Eight, playing four. two categories, getting some good results, some not so good, and sort of the years go by so I, I, I like the um, the choice saying hey we're gonna go all in in uh, in one category interesting and then of course the decision whether Ben Lane was going to continue the mix with Jess Pew or go for men's doubles and that, that must have been something that they've discussed in the and the English team, both the players and the coaches. That was terrific defence from Yuta Watanabe Five, initially. Eight. That one. Yeah. He had it in his pocket. Mm. It's a magician. So oh, service so oh, oh, That's <laughs> the second time. He's being faulted for striking the shuttle too high. Oh, well, so difficult for us to tell where 1.15 meters is. I think the hand goes up, but just a little tiny bit uh, before he hit the shuttle, but um, whether it's enough, we, we can't see. So to the mid-game interval, six-point advantage for the number six seeds, Indo and Watanabe. It's eight minutes into the match. Nathan Robertson, oh, 
half of the last English pair to win an All England title. The mixed doubles, of course, with Gail Ems 11, 15 years ago. Five. Now, he was saying, move it from side to side at the back, being a little more patient, the gaps will come. Yeah. Sounds reasonable. Uh, it's not one of the most hard-hitting pairs, uh, Endo and uh, Watanabe. Six, eleven. Endo hits uh, a very nice smash, but um, there's other players that hits harder than him. Watanabe is uh, mostly using his um, speed of movement and uh, the surprise attack. Seems like they want to play too much on the front court, sort of uh, make the court shorter, uh, the English pair, and um, that's why it seems reasonable what Nathan Robertson suggests. Use all of the court. Oh, that was a nice interception from Bendy. Some silver, seven, twelve. Shouldn't do that to <laughs> when you play against Yuta Watanabe. <laughs> He's too quick. Now oh, here he tries to get clever Ben Lane. Would have worked against a lot of players, but um, simply too speedy Watanabe. Well left. Rally of the match so far at 35 shots. He doesn't miss many of those. What an Arbe. That was wild. Oh, dear me. He's had been faulted twice. Yeah. And now a service error. So he's starting to think about what he's doing. Yeah. And that makes it even more difficult. Good service return. Sub silver. 10, 15. Well, Sean Wendy, it's, it's the first time that I've seen him like really watching him closely for a match. You know, that's half a game as it is right now, but um, moves well on the back court, it seems, and it also seems reasonable to start building a uh, second men's doubles as uh, as Chris Language, Marcus Ellis, Chris Language. He's played for for a number of years now, so uh, probably not that many years left in. Um, in his career. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, that time. Sub silver. 
Chapman, with a luck, it bounced off the top of the tape and went over. 16. Punishing um, the English whenever Bendy or Lane plays a, a lift that's a little bit too short, then either End or Watanabe is there to um, to punish them. And uh, again, we, we we talk a lot about it in um, in the singles categories, the shot quality, but um, it goes as well for, for the doubles category. Oh, oh, oh goodness! Oh, brilliant! <laughs> That's amazing! Wow, well, how on earth did he get... He, he wasn't even watching the shuttle bendy, I don't think. That one! <laughs> it was sort of tape behind his back, and that was absolutely That's the shot of the day so far. It certainly is. Wonderful. And another one there. 13, 17. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, well, wow. Well. Big gap. 17. Oh. Oh. He hasn't forgotten how to do those. No. 18. Signature 14. shot from uh, Yuta Watanabe. Sky's drop shot. Beautiful shot. Good shot. Oh, yes. But I, li I, li I like these um, sort of adventurous shots that he's got, um, Sean Wendy. If he can maintain those and then build up some more threats, some more pressure, some harder smashes as well, and then mix it up with those um, uh, imaginative shots, then um, there's, there's potential in that. Game point opportunities. 14. Six of them for the number six seeds, Endo and Watanabe. There, yeah, convert that. on their first opportunity. 21 14. And Watanabe Yuta. Opening game. 21 14. To the number six seeds, Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe. 17 minutes for that opening game. No cross drive. Cross up, okay. Here's okay. straight cross the ball. Left hand and yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, defend. Cross high, you know. Again, cross, lift it high, don't drive it. Simple stuff around serve return and mid court. We can lay off and move with it or pump it over them. Yeah, but then we have to make a move straight off the back of it. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to be up there. Yeah, we don't need to sit back because it's slow anyway. No one's hit anywhere near the rear lines on anything. Yeah. So everyone's playing the sort of front line. And on this side, it'll be even more. Yeah, 
they weren't anywhere near the back line. I mean, their lips got really Well, it's been 82 years since an English pair won the men's doubles title at the All England Championships, 1938. Leslie and Ralph Nichols won the men's doubles uh, title. And certainly Lane and Vendy playing in their first All England Championship since the inception of the World Tour. They'll have to come from behind if they want to beat the number six seeds. It's a tall order. He's a very clever player, is Hiro Yuki Endo. But, Steen, my quiz question for you then for this men's doubles today is the last English pair in the final. When was that and who were they? Who were they is good, is good enough for your cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it too wow. tricky. <laughs> I, I, it's a long, long time because uh, the mixed doubles. That was back in 2005. Good rally. Oh, that's delightful. Yeah, very good rally. I would, I would guess it uh, I would go all the way back to um, Martin Dew and uh, Mike Tretchett. I'm buying the tees tonight. Well done. OK. Well, well done. 1984, 36 years ago. Yeah. I'll buy you dinner as well, if you can tell me who they lost to in the final. <laughs> Out. In 84. Silver, two, one. Uh, that's a tricky one. The Chinese were probably not good enough. Um, Thomas Schuster and uh, Stephen Carlson? No. No. It was Herianto and Cartono. I, I was on to Cartono, but just couldn't remember who he played with. Yeah. So I, I didn't want to give it a shot. It went with the Swedes. Well, it's only a cup of tea, mate. Yeah. Play. Oh, had I just said Katona, you would have been really, really frightened there I before would. the second <laughs> name came. I would. Do you feel that, I know it's only early stages of this second game, but do you feel that the English pair are trying to play too quickly? Yes, I, I think, I think Everything seems to be fast with them at the moment. Yeah. I, I think it's a, it's a typical situation when you um, somehow unconsciously, unconsciously uh, sense that um, you probably can't match your opponent in most of the um, skills in the game. So you try to you try a little bit too much to uh, to get it to go on your premises. And I think Nathan Robertson he said it in between the games that hey. Just move a little bit forward, and no one is, is hitting it from the back line here. Um, so the first thing is sort of believing that you can actually play, that uh, your racket skills are good enough, that you are fast enough with the racket, and that your defense is good enough, and that you can kill it, and you have a front court player who can, who can um, score from the front court, hopefully, too. So, so starting believing a little bit more in yourself is is sometimes a key factor, because then it shows that uh, oh, the opponents they're actually human as well. Yeah. That's fine. So, 
So I guess Six, it's, it's something about that this is the first Super 1000 tournament that they're playing, and, and they haven't really played men's doubles um, consistently at this level. No. And when you take that into consideration, they're doing very well. I think so too. That was, there that was, was more half, patient. Yes, and that was half pace, wasn't it? It yeah. was all about Three, angle. Six. Nice slice, very steep. Did the damage. Third so shot uh, lacks Seven. some quality from uh, Ben Lane there, and as we've seen before, immediately punished. And if the third shot lacks quality, then maybe the service also did, but that's very hard for us to see from up here. We're sitting almost uh, under the roof. We're still, we're still inside the roof, that's good. <laughs> but um, some distance down to uh, the flo arena floor here. And still lots of instruction from the English coaches. Agile, isn't he? Yuta Watanabe. Most players would have played that interception with a backhand. But no. Left hander still manages to play the round the head shot. Isn't it on 11, the next shot six. from Watanabe? In and a five point Wipe advantage. For this Japanese combination here in the second game. to get what Nathan Robertson was talking about there. Not really. Not really something about turning. Them. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe something about lifting the first one instead of um, activating someone. On I, I, I couldn't understand. No. Um, it's also all sorts of codes in between players and coaches. So um, not so easy sometimes. So, five, six. 
And the way I see it, they've got, they got to figure out how to use Ben Lane, how to get him activated uh, somehow. What do you mean? It, oh, at the net or in uh, all court? Or? Yeah, all, pretty much all court, but basically at the net. How do you get him into play? Where is it that he can score points? Because it's, it's difficult for him from the back court. Well, the line judge saying unsighted. Unsighted. So the umpire is going to call for Hawkeye. So neither pair will lose a challenge over this. In fact, we haven't had any challenges in the second game so far. So Hawkeye will adjudicate for us. Says the shuffle was clearly in. Yeah. Yeah. In. 13-6, play. Ah. Now, he's, uh, I mean, in the mixed doubles, clearly the role was back court play. Uh, and, and I think in the men's doubles that he's played before with, with Sean Wendy, he, he's the front court player, but he's not, in my opinion, a natural front court player, Ben Lane. So. So uh, it's also about how to activate uh, his strength, which I think is mainly from the mid-court area. Satisfied as well, going uh, what's an hour, but with this match here, it's a really nice match to have the first time you play after um, an injury layoff, um, playing in a, a stadium that's not um, easy to play in, and get a fairly easy uh, match to uh, get yourself into the arena. Trademark <laughs> shot. You were talking about that earlier, Steen. That disguised rock shot from Watanabe not working on that occasion. But it is great disguise, isn't it? You just can't see it coming. Oh, brilliant air shot. Fantastic. gets that back. He does. He does. Oh! 
Yeah, such was the interceptions Sub from Hiroyuki Endo. 17, 12. One, two, three, four interceptions at the net. Yeah. That's extraordinary. Clever, clever play for Amendo. 18, 12. Got himself in position, that was the key. Then he had the options. Abilities of finishing off the rally from the front of the court are both the Japanese players. Yeah. I think that one of the big differences between these two pairs. I agree. The sooner they get um, a little advantage, they're good at converting it. Point opportunities for Endo and Watanabe. First time of asking 21 14, 21 12, the margin of their victory against Ben Lane and Sean Vendy of England. Well, it's been a great experience for. The English combination playing in their first Super 1000 event. Uh, but Endo and Watanabe, first a match as a pair since losing in the World Tour finals last December. Look sharp, they look good. Uh, I'm quite certain that the other pairs who are all vying to try and win the title here will have had an eye on that one, wanting to see how they were playing after the injury layoff. So safely through to the second round, number six seeds, Endo and Watanabe.